Hi, welcome back. We're going to be doing Miriam this time around. Now, Miriam has her own set of problems in that she's normally a good long way away. Hey. And the problem with that is if I fast travel back to the house it's a long way off for her to come back, well, for me to go back to her. Um, whereas fast traveling through the village isn't really an issue, but coming over here really is. Plus, she can be everywhere. That's that's a real issue that uh, that you have with Miriam. She can quite literally go all over the map. More often than not, she does tend to stay around her own hunting blinds and whatnot, but still, she's a pain. But we're getting back to the singular people again. Uh, next time after these we've got uh, uh, Oliver and Corinne, but for the time being we've got Miriam, who cleans muskets, trades pelts, roasting hares, sharpening tools, skinning a deer and setting a trap, so hopefully she gets to doing something Roasting a hair. Different. Come on, chickadee. <laughs> Likes the smell of them hairs. Want some? Finish up, finish up. Yes. Good evening. Yeah, that's the problem. It is evening. Uh, clean musket. Yes. Boom. That was very, very quick. Oh, I like it when it goes like that. Right, Oliver and Corinne, who are the innkeepers. They do quite a lot and hopefully it will be done very quickly too because there are two of them. Um, it's not like, um, actually with Godfrey and Terry, they're very much the same person so they tend to do things together. Warren and Prudence, the two farmers, no, they're individualistic, as are Oliver and Corinne. So hopefully the next time I come in and go to the inn, they'll be doing something different. See you in a sec. 